The coffin of slain NYPD officer Rafael Ramos was draped in the green, white, and blue of the New York City Police Department. Freeze it! Oh! And carried into this Queen's Church by officers while his colleagues from his Brooklyn station house stood in salute. His funeral is on Saturday, but family and loved ones began saying their final goodbyes at Friday's wake in Christ Tabernacle Church. He was my rock. He was a beacon of wisdom. He was my absolute best friend. Dad, I'll miss you, Barry. Justin Ramos was in the middle of his sophomore year in college when his father was gunned down, along with his partner, by a gunman bent on killing cops, police say. My dad would have been there for everyone else, and to see so many people here for him is a testament to how he is as a person. It's been so helpful in this difficult time. I'm going to keep this short and sweet, just like my brother. 40-year-old Ramos is being described as a family man, close to God and his church, who liked to work with children. You were one of the most humble people I know, and having you as my brother is the highest honor that could have been bestowed upon me. But total strangers, too, who never even knew the officer, paid tribute to Ramos outside Christ's tabernacle. A lot of the officers was thanking me for coming. I said, there's no need to thank me. You know? I feel duty-bound as a citizen. National, state, and city leaders will be at Saturday's funeral, including Vice President Joe Biden. But so too will be tens of thousands of police officers, perhaps as many as 25 or 30,000 by some accounts. They're arriving from St. Louis, Atlanta, New Orleans, Washington, D.C., and many other cities across the country, including as far away as Canada.